Usually, using Auto Hockey to control windows is super simple. It lets you do keystrokes, it lets you do mouse input, all kinds of stuff are first class features. But one thing Auto Hotkey really lacks control over is the sound system. Today, I want to show you a really cool utility I found that lets you control your sound system with Auto Hotkey. To start, let's go ahead and make a new Auto Hotkey script. The next thing we're going to need to do is download the NUR CMD script. I've also put a link to this in the description. As you can see, this utility lets you perform tons of actions with a run command. Most of this auto hotkey can do on its own, but in particular, these system value controls, uh, auto hotkey has a lot of problems with. Um, so I recommend using this program to get these three features right here. If you scroll all the way to the bottom, you'll get your download button. So I download the 64-bit version and save. Once you've opened the zip file that you downloaded, go ahead and drag everything into your auto hotkey folder. So that way your auto hotkey script can access this executable file right here. So I'm going to make three hotkeys to show off the three different functionalities. But remember, you can make these any hotkey you want. So let's start with F9. Um, I'm going to say run nur cmd.exe mute sys volume one microphone. You won't find the word microphone in the website, but if you actually go to the help file that's included, you'll be able to find where it says microphone. So this is the component property right here. Component is an optional parameter that specifies one of the following sound components, master, wave out, synth, CV, microphone, phone, aux, line, headphones, wave in. If you're interested in controlling any of those other components, you can do that as well, but we're gonna be looking at the microphone today. Oh yeah, don't forget to return to end the hotkey. So let's do F10, and this one is going to be unmute. It's going to work exactly the same, except instead of one, we're going to put zero, and zero is going to unmute it. Finally, let's do F11, uh, which is going to toggle, and then toggle is two. So in the documentation, it says switch between the mute and normal state. Before we test this, remember that nursecmd.exe has to be in the same folder as your auto hockey file. Otherwise, it's not going to know where nursecmd.exe is. So to test this, let's go to the sound control panel. And I'm going to open the properties of my microphone and check the levels. So you'll see I'm currently allowing my microphone to work. So if I go ahead and hit F9, you'll notice that my mic... Oh, right, it muted me. Well, I guess that works. Um, and F10, of course, unmutes. And then finally, I can use F11 to toggle it off and on. Tons of different programs have their own mute and unmute buttons, like OBS or Discord or Skype. This is something that lets you muscle memory yourself into having a single mute, mute unmute button that works for every single application. I think that's awesome. If you like this video and you want to see more automation scripts and tutorials, check out my other videos. See ya!